Hello, back again here for our vlog a day, and today was Sunday the 9th, and today was a beautiful day outside weather-wise. Temperature's a little in the cooler than what they thought it was supposed to be. I think it got up in the, I don't know, low 30s, something like that, 34 I think is what I saw, the best I saw of the temperature. Um, not bad though, the wind wasn't really blowing in that, so it made it feel a little bit better. And the sun was shining a good chunk of the day, so it definitely made it feel a lot warmer than what it really was. So, when you look out and you see a nice, you know, semi-sunny day, there's, you can see some cloud cover, even this little video here. You can see there's some kind of grayish clouds, but it wasn't dark feeling. It was just a kind of a nice day out there. And we had a lot of melt off, not nearly as much as a couple days ago. We had the real warm temperatures, but oh well, it happens. Um, Saturday seemed to be the warmest. Actually, I think Friday might have been the warmest day, but it's all just sloppy, muddy as all get out there. Um, end up getting up today. It's fairly decent time, not really super early, but woke up early when I wanted to be. Ended up doing a few things around here and came back in the room to kind of just I don't know, I guess lay around and watch some TV and Netflix mostly, not really TV, but watch some Netflix on the iPad and kind of just chilled out and did really a lot of nothing for a few hours today. Um, felt kind of nice. Got up, had a handful of things to get taken care of, got that all wrapped up and got the fun stuff done there. Headed out, um, got a few things here and there done. Um, ended up getting the computer, some of that kind of stuff. Then decided to go out for my run today. Didn't know how far I should run. My ankle's really been messed with me. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'm going to order some equipment, like some physical therapy type extras, like stretching things and whatnot to help feel, to help heal this up. It's kicking my butt. My training program actually said not to run at all today, but I got to run at least my run streak. So I decided to go out and have myself a little nice run. Made it for a fairly, I don't know, like a 28 minute 5K time not bad and end up like i don't know a little more than that ran over a 5k but that was the time frame i went ahead and slowed down way after that went out with the dog had a good time it was like i said it was kind of that cold weather not horrible had his jacket on him probably really didn't need it but oh well it's better to have it on and not need it than to not have it on at all and need it so i ended up sweating pretty good on my run because i was a little bit overdressed because like i said that weird 34 degree range it, if it was 17 you put on every layer you have or if it's 50 you put on virtually nothing and it's that whole scenario of that 34 is a weird temperature for me not knowing what i want seems like 41 is my worst temperature because i have no idea what to wear because if i put on multiple layers i get way too hot way too fast i don't put on enough layers i get so cold starting that i feel like i can never get warmed up so it's that weird scenario that 41 temperature is the worst to run in. I'll take 100 and I'll take 13 and I don't like 41. That one drives me absolutely crazy. So like I said, got my run in today. Felt pretty good in the run. My ankle was messing with me. I did run down by one of the trails, which you'll see here. Um, hoping to run the trail, but it was just nasty, slushy, junk. Nobody's really been on it. There's just too wet. And I got there and I was looked down like, I don't feel like getting my shoes wet. I wasn't wearing my snowshoes. I was wearing my superiors, but not the ones with the chains and cleats on it. I was going to be running out here on the road mostly and did not want to get my feet that wet in the process. So I turned off there, ended up running around town a little bit, had a good time, came back home, got cleaned up, all that good stuff. Um, ended up cooking up some beautiful lemon ranch pork chops. Um, really just kind of looked in the fridge. I'm like, I got this lemon juice and I got this ranch and I have all this pork, so let's make something with it. So ended up doing that, turned out phenomenal. They're super juicy nice little lemon kick in them and just a tinge of ranch if you really taste into it it's beautiful it was tasted so good if i could reproduce that every day i'd be super happy um probably could never reproduce it again because i'm not a guy who keeps track of what he puts on it i threw on probably eight different seasons in and just i kind of cook by whatever my gut tells me to cook at the moment so i'm never going to be a phenomenal gourmet chef who would like prepare meals for like giant corporations because i'm never going to be able to make the same thing for 100 people and have it taste anywhere near the same for 100 people so i might make it 100 times and i might have 30 different flavors in that 100 batch so that's who i am i'm good with it i'm happy with it make some other people that eat my food off and on a little bit pissy at times but it happens so went ahead um guy like i said delicious amazing pork chop so got that done end up watching a little more netflix end up taking a bit of a nap i've been struggling here lately i have not been sleeping more the damn crazy nightmares and that and just 
I don't know, a lot of crap in my life going on that's just a little overwhelming. And some shit happens that I don't sleep well after it happens. My stress gets on my nerves. And I get a little bit of a anxiety going on. So went ahead, uh, took a bit of a nap. And by a nap, I mean I fell asleep while watching. I actually listened to a podcast. Um, knowing I was going to be kind of in that process of in and out of it, I threw in a podcast I didn't really care about. Fell asleep. The dog had to go out, so he woke me up. Um, then he basically had to go back out again, so he woke me up again. I was having a little bit of trouble there, and it kind of pissed me off. And then I got a phone call um, shortly after the dog had woke me back up, and I just stayed up for a while, talked to them. Actually, I think it might be a, I don't know if it's a phone call or a text now, but went ahead and um, was able to just stay up after that. Um, wasn't really a big deal. I had a little bit of a nap in between there, so I felt like I was a little bit rested, but it all worked out. Um, ended up getting a few things done after that, nothing really major. Did some laundry, all that kind of same old stuff. Seems like that daily grind. Then ended up having a um, friend call me, and we ended up talking on the phone for like two damn hours, which is really rare. I don't usually get that chance to talk that long anymore and stuff, and it was really nice. It's one of those things where there was like just it was awesome. It was a really good phone call. The phone dropped off and then they called back and basically gave them a hard time for hanging up on me. They said I hung up on them. We kind of had that little joke back and forth. Ended up talking for like another hour. So there's like three hours plus today. I talked to this person on the phone and it was just awesome. It really felt good. We talked about anything and everything. Just the craziest shit. I have one of those weird squirrel brains that I just will go off on weird tangents and it's really interesting to see where it ends up. I've always kind of wanted to have somebody follow me around to record my conversations and try and like plot it out on a graph to see like if I'm talking about politics or if I'm talking about cars or if I'm talking about chocolate or whatever the heck it is because my brain goes all over the place and it'd be interesting to see that on a chart someday of everything and like an average conversation where all I end up at. So Got off the phone with them and that. Um, they've got a big long run tomorrow. They're running a 26 plus mile um, training run tomorrow, so that'll be interesting. Unfortunately, I'm nowhere near them, or I would go down and run uh, part of it with them. Actually, I would do it, take my bike for most of it and just bike along next to them and kind of help them out in that process. So, But they're nowhere near me, and things going on, time frames just don't work out right, so they're going to be on their own. So I wish them luck, and I wish you all a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.